What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and Apple has just released iOS 9.2.1 Beta 1. This is following in the tracks of iOS 9.2 earlier last week. Apple is really pushing these updates out, which is great. There is not much features in the last few releases, but a lot of bug fixes. So iOS 9.2.1, a little bit of a mysterious release. There's no changelog that comes with it. It's a very small minor update, but what does it do? What's changed inside of it? In this video, I wanna fill you in on some information, let you know what's going on with this latest release. But before I get into that, there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about iOS 9.2. It was a great release. It fixed a lot of issues I was having and the performance was a lot better. Only in this view, rotate your phone this way and look at that animation stutter. How could Apple drop the ball on this one? It is so bad. I mean, it's like a five to 10 FPS, seriously. Oh my gosh. So besides that, I was really disappointed to find another lock screen bypass in a 9.2. So here it is right here. I'm running 9.2. So there's some other issues Apple should focus on with 9.2.1, but these are still present there. Basically, I can show you guys how to get into the photos from the lock screen. So there's a bypass, there is animation lag, and none of that has been fixed with iOS 9.2.1. The only thing that iOS 9.2.1 changes is an MDM fix. So what that is, is basically when you're downloading an application from the App Store, sometimes an application would get stuck. Even though it's downloaded fully, it wouldn't fully install. And that's the only issue that 9.2.1 resolves in the latest update. So besides iOS 9.2.1, Apple did also release OS 10.11.3 for uh, computers, which was a nice little surprise, nothing for the Apple Watch, but it's a very, very small update. Unfortunately, nothing's changed. I'm really looking forward to something big. I mean, Apple surprises, give us something nice, a big new feature in the latest release of iOS 9. And there was a carrier update as well in the settings. So uh, something carrier wise was updated. So as you guys can see right here, for every carrier, you will see an update. It's a point 0.1, so maybe you'll see slightly better performance there, who knows. But I actually did load iOS 9.2.1 on a few devices. I just wanna show you guys real quick, uh, is there any performance difference? So 9.2.1 on the left, I wanna go ahead and uh, trigger spotlight. Nope, not faster, definitely. Uh, let's try app switcher. My gosh. If anything, it's slower, but then again, it is a beta, so I guess that makes sense. Let's try opening up the App Store. Let me clear out the App Switcher real quick. So one, two, and it is slower. So 9.2.1, not an upgrade I wanna be updating to just yet. And real quick, same thing on the five. So one, two, oh my gosh. Uh, let's try Spotlight. Damn, it is slow and uh, clear everything out in the App Store. So last test, oh, about the same here. And lastly, 9.2.1 on the left on the 6 Plus or 6S Plus. One, two, oh my gosh, why so slow? And 3D Touch. Now let's rotate these guys sideways and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's 9.2, that awful stutter. Damn, 9.2.1, it still remains. I mean, I just don't understand it. The developers not rotate their phones and try it out that way. How is it so fluid here, but rotate your phone and it becomes a mess. Ugh. Anyways, so last test, just wanna show you guys the Geekbench scores between 9.2.1 and 9.2. All right, so on the 4S, exactly the same, no difference in the scores. On the 5, it was a couple points higher in both tests and a bigger difference on the iPhone 6S Plus, so certainly a little bit higher. So in terms of actual Geekbench numbers is higher. In the actual real world performance, it seems a lot slower. So guys, that's just about it. iOS 9.2.1 is here, I'll keep you guys updated on any news as far as the jailbreak goes i have some information for you i'll share you in a separate video very soon but don't update to 9.2.1 when it drops it's definitely not going to be an update worth updating to if you want to preserve or a jailbreak in the future so uh, stay tuned for any information on 9.2.1 thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day guys peace